I guess I had no help except my shadow self. And just between us two, it seems she said as well. On top of bad as hell, we make y'all mad as hell. Cause I got what he lacked for me, he's dead as well. Still saying what you want, you just had it all. Don't say you understand it, first you had to fall. And to call it good and evil makes you evil too. Since every place that evil lives, it leads to two. Yo, bro, it's on. Uh, this is Journey into Life by Ernest Holmes, the founder of Science of Mind Publications. Uh, the foreword starts, In this volume are 40 essays, 40 days, that can lead to a greater understanding and experiencing of this thing called life. They have been carefully selected from the unpublished writings of the late Ernest Holmes, one of the outstanding religious philosophers of our day, whose teaching, known as Science of Mind, has beneficially influenced the lives of millions. In this treasure chest of ideas are vital and dynamic concepts which can add increased joy, happiness, and success to everyone's daily life. They provide a journey that will never be forgotten, for it is inspiring and lifts one to new spiritual heights. Science of Mind Publications, and that's page seven of this book. Five, four, three, two, one. Hi, Lord, it's me, your son. Conversation dry, don't act like you can't say none. Just me, myself, and I. A single and a dub. Three, seven in my blood. Don't point to me, I'm numb. She think that she my crush, but I just want the cheesy crust. I know my donut, so the police want a piece of us. I'm done. All right, now I done turned the flash on. Matt said turn on the flash. Yeah, because niggas is dark skinned. It's dark outside. It's a lot of dark on dark going on in see, order to see shit. You tell you, say, say something real fast. <laughs> see, that's how you can tell these niggas is really niggas. They so black that their teeth is just white. Those are not veneers. <laughs> Yo. That's the power of melanin, Soon baby. Soon yeah, that Soon is the power of melanin. <laughs> that is the power of melanin. My teeth fucked up because I'm lighter than these niggas. Don't worry. By summertime, I'll be straight. You might be lighter, but you are the most nigga, technically. Thank you, thank you, niggas. Thank you, The first essay is titled Acceptance and begins, We have to accept, just as we accept gravity, that there are self-existent spiritual and mental truths which, when known, will automatically make us free. We must provide a mold in thought which is equivalent to the thing that we desire. The law of mind is a spiritual power which knows nothing about big and little. It knows nothing about certain persons, but so far as we are concerned, it must always act by reacting to our mental acceptances. That is, it must flow through the channel we provide or act in accord with the thought that sets it in motion. It is the nature of the creative law of mind to respond to us, to give us what we ask when we ask it and in the way in which we ask it. Thus the childlike mind of acceptance is likened unto the kingdom of heaven. Not faith in God, but the faith of God is unqualified acceptance. Our bowl of acceptance must be held up so that it may be filled by the outpouring of spirit. Its size may be measured in our individual experience according to the law of mental equivalence which says that whatever we can inwardly conceive, we may outwardly experience. This is because the external is merely a reflection of the internal. The habit of acceptance should be cultivated and used since we automatically attract that which is like our thought. And since our patterns of thought are largely habitual, why not form the habit of expectancy and acceptance? Our prayers to be effective must be affirmations which are so formulated in our mind as to produce an actual inner acceptance of the good desire expressed, even before we have experienced that particular good. We are planting our desire in the garden of a creative law of mind, 
which produces a plant exactly like the seed and never anything else. Thanks. <laughs>